My name is Dr. Edith Kamaru Kuoba. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and head of mental health at Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, where I have been working since 2014. In 2013, when I graduated, I worked in a hospital called Kakamega, now County Referral Hospital. I remember this time we even had a strike, a healthcare worker strike, and almost all the patients went home, but there was one specific patient who was actually left behind and they had nowhere to go. And we remember calling the patient, the medical superintendent's patient, because the, the, the medical superintendent, in the, in the, even in the context of the strike, had to feed that lady. And, and, and kept, it, it struck me that there was a very significant gap. And some, actually, the relatives had disowned them completely. And, and given that it's a hospital and they can't leave, I, I felt that it was actually partly against the human rights and against human dignity that someone would be limited to stay in some confined walls for years. Before I came to Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital in 2014, I had heard about AMPATH. So immediately I joined. I knew that I wanted to do something outside of the hospital. So the first thing I did was actually walk into Professor Mamblin's office. And I remember that day I actually walked in with a one-page concept and told him, this is what I think I want to do for mental health. And in that concept, I had outlined very basic things, like what do I want to do? I want to educate the community about mental health. I want to do something that can increase access to care for people with mental ill patients within uh, the empath catchment area. He was very excited. I actually started off and, and I, I, after that introduction, he introduced me to Adrian Gardner at that time. He must have been the field director. I was introduced to the clinic that was taking place on Thursdays. I was also informed about the mental health services um, within the other sub-county hospitals. And I started engaging myself in those, in those settings. And the point of the home is two, two things. One, that these patients who are burdened in mental units for a very long time can first get to experience a place where they can call home and be able to take care of themselves, activities of daily living, instead of just being in a ward, putting on uniform, being fed, they can actually participate in, in activities that make them feel like they're human. And number two, that they can gain skills that can help them integrate better into the community. Because what happens is when people are mentally ill, they don't fit very well into the community, given that the mental illness affects their ability to participate in activities or daily living, participate in um, activities that can give them daily bread. So the aim of the home is to give them some form of skill that can allow them to get daily bread so that they can live independently. So it's both helping them recover from the mental illness and there's a program, the Illness Management Recovery Program that we are trying to I implement here just to help them understand that the fact that they're mentally ill doesn't mean that they can't live with the illness comfortably, just like people who have diabetes, just like people who have asthma and other chronic diseases, so they understand their own illness well. But the other important thing is, can they gain skills to be able to live out there independently? And if possible, even being able to earn a living from the skills that we give them. So it is 100% through the partnership with Indiana University that we actually got to get funding for this home. This home wouldn't have been materialized if it was not through the partnership with Indiana University. We are hoping that it will be a center of excellence because we think that it's great that it's in Eldoret, but again, not everyone can manage to come here. So we are hoping to continue working with other partners and the government so that a similar home or a similar facility can actually be put up maybe at every in every county if it's possible so that we can promote mental wellness in the country so we are excited to be in this place at such a time as this it's the only home in kenya and one of the very few in the region and we are hoping that it will be it will do so well that people will be able to be willing to invest in it, especially the government.